Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is the Stitching Colourist with Shelley Lewis and today I'm going to be doing part four of my colouring book collection. So before I go into it, I just want to say thank you so much for your lovely, lovely comments on my videos. They are very, very much appreciated and I just want to say thank you so much. I adore also like to give a big shout out to thunder junkie she has recently hit 1000 subscribers so congratulations i just wanted to give your channel a shout out and i will leave a link to her channel in the descriptions below so guys we're gonna make a start because i have quite a few here so the first one i've got in my collection is Dint Disney Princesses, Colorado's Mysteries, and this book is by Hatchet Junies. This is a French colour by number book, and this is your Colorado's Mysteries. You have at the back of the book, it gives you the finished images throughout the book. If you're a colour by number fan and you're a Disney fan, you may have very well have seen these books they are quite popular so at the back it gives you the finished images throughout the book isn't that i love these books these books the pictures are absolutely gorgeous now the ones that i've completed in this one is i did that uh, i didn't date it i didn't name it because it was before i did the whole dating and naming of your pictures uh, and if I remember correctly though, I think I did this on Christmas Day with my Stedler 326s that my mother-in-law bought me for Christmas. And I did this one here. And I did date that one. That, I did this on the 17th of October 2017. And I remember I used my Prismacolors to do that. And have I done any more out of here? No. That's all that I've done in that one. So there's that one. So the next one I've got, I've actually got a collection of these ones. They might not be in any particular order. I've got, I brought about five of them because I had some vouchers to one Christmas. And I remember I brought about five of these. So this is the Marvel Avengers Colorage Mysteries. And at the back of the book, it gives you, again, some pictures of the finished images. And this is from 2016. That'll just give you an example of some of the, uh, well, of the images throughout the book. Right, let me just pull my camera back just a touch. So you guys can see the book. That's a bit better so yeah and have i colored anything out of this i don't know if i have you know huh well i've got a blank page there i don't know why that's in there <laughs> yeah do you know yeah i colored this one i did this and i never dated that or that either i think i might have used stay below 68 to color that picture so that is all that i've done in the avengers one so the next one i have in the collection is star wars colorers mysteries and obviously this is a star wars these are all color by number by the way i probably should have mentioned that at the beginning of the video <laughs> of these uh books that i'm showing here i do promise you guys i do have a couple of non-color by number books to uh, show you some part in the collection i have got those as well just that i color color by number mostly so that is the images at the back of the book and have i done anything i think i have done one at least one out of here yeah i did this one of poe and i never dated or initialed that one either so that is the star wars color colorage mr airs get me words out so the next one i have in the collection is disney princesses 
collage mister is now I did just show you a Disney princess one this is a different one to the other one and there's some of the pictures of the images uh, the back of the book any of these books that I show in my collection guys if you would like in more detailed flip through I would be more happy I would be happy to do that for you I can do that so apparently I've only coloured one out of here and it was this one of Beauty and the Beast and I didn't date or <laughs> sign that one either so yeah it must have been I must have coloured the pictures when before I did the whole signing and dating so that is another Disney princess colourage Mr. Ayres now the next one I have in my collection now this is by Hashet Lovasaurus now this is a little bit different it's colour by number but it's a vice versa where you think you're colouring one thing but you colour you end up colouring another so if we go to the back these are what the finished images look like now in this book it's just random pictures kind of <laughs> just random pictures of different things so there's your finished images i love these books now i've got these books out i would like to color some more in these because i feel like i've neglected them a little bit because i've been concentrating more on my uh, sun life drawing in balba family books these books have a hundred images in so you do definitely get your money's worth and they are roughly about £12 each. Some of them are unavailable now because they do sell pretty, they're pretty good actually um, at selling. Basically, they're pretty good at going, these are. Um, some of them are sold out, some of them you can still get. So, I'm not sure if you can actually get them at the minute though because i know you can still get some of the french color by number books but they seem minimal at the minute so i've done two out of here i did this one had no idea what markers i used or when i did it <laughs> but i'm gonna go buy stedler markers in that and this one you'll see what i mean it's like this drawn in the back You've got the birds, so it's say uh, like you think you're colouring love birds, but it actually turns out to be something different. And this is what I ended up with. And I coloured this uh, on the 17th of November 2017. Actually, I did more than I thought. I did this one, and I did that on the 4th of December 2017. And I did this one and I did that on the 4th again of December 2017 and that is all that I've done. And the normal pictures look like this. You get your colour palette at the bottom and you get your outline of an image but that's not the actual image that you're colouring. You get a surprise or in my case this video you've just seen at the back of the book. So yeah, so that is the vice versa one. They do have another vice versa of this and I have got it. I'm not sure if it's in this pile but I know I've definitely got it. So I've got a couple of collection of these. Um, I've got mostly these from the works. This is Enchanted World, colour by number. Uh, this should have been six ninety nine from the works, but it was three pound. And it is by uh, Nathalia Ortega and Sarah Storino. So I hope I've said that right. At the front of the book you get some of your finished images and at the back of the book you get some finished images but you also get your colour palette that can fold out and I don't know if I've actually coloured anything out of this. Yeah I have. I have. I coloured that one uh, and yeah I didn't date it <laughs> again. The pictures are one-sided, but they're not perforated, I don't think. So, yeah. Some of the pictures are more intricate than others. Um, there you go. So, that is Enchanted World. 
So the next one I have is Birds and Butterflies Colour by Number. Again, smallest of his six ninety nine was only three pound. And this is by Arpad Albe and Sarah Storino. And this is the same. You get some of your finished images at the front. And you also get some finished images at the back as well. And I think this one just focuses on different birds. You get your colour palette there. I don't think I've actually coloured a single thing in here. Because I don't remember this being one that I would actually go for. I, the reason why I got it though is because I've got quite a few others in the collection. So I thought I might as well get this one as well. So that is Birds and Butterflies colour by number. So the next one I have in the collection is this one. And this is Beautiful Colour by Number. Compiled by Felicity James. And this was supposed to be £7.99 knocked down to £3. And again like the other books you have your, some of your finished images at the front of the book. And you have some finished images at the back as well as your colour palette for the book. Now I don't know if I've coloured anything in this. This one is a bit more of a random different kind of pictures book. This is kind of the ones that I prefer. No, I have not coloured anything in that, so that is beautiful. Colour by numbers. I must start colouring some pictures in these books, guys. So the next one I have in the collection is Calm Colour by Numbers. And this is by David Woodrolf. Supposed to be £6.99, knocked down to 3 And you have some finished images at the front. And you have... Apparently, an uncoloured picture. Now, some finished images at the back of the book as well, as well as again your colour palette. Now, I don't know if I've coloured anything in or out, out of here. I might keep this one out, you know. I might do. I don't know. I don't know because I've got quite a lot of books kept out this month. So that is calm colour by numbers. I don't know, might keep it out and might not. So the other one I've got in the collection is Mindfulness Colour by Number. And again, it is by David Woodrow. Supposed to be £6.99, knocked down to 3 And again, you have some finished images at the front. And some finished images at the back with your colour palette. Now I have coloured some out of here. Uh, I tend to go from straight from the front of the book to the back. Well, I've done that one. That one's nice. I actually really like that. I think with colour in the background in pencil, it helps to make the main part of the picture stand out. I did this one. I think I might have used Faber-Castell, um, oh, what do you call it, pit pens for these. I did this one and I did date this. I did this in February of June 2016. It goes to show how long ago it's been since I actually, well, how long I've had the book for. I did that. That one's quite nice, actually, considering I did it by pencil. I actually really like that one. I didn't think that I'd coloured that one. And I did that one. And I can't remember what I used to do that or when I did it. So I've coloured a couple out of there and it's not too bad that. That's alright. So yeah. So the next one in the collection is Animal Kingdom. Colour by number. Um, six ninety nine, knocked down to 3 and you have, this one's based on obviously animals. You have some of your finished images at the front. And some of your finished images at the back with the colour palette. This one is by Arped Olbe and Martin Sanders. And I don't think I've done anything out of here. Sorry about the flippy floppiness. No, I've not done anything out of this one. 
Yeah, so that's an un, another un <laughs> started book. Animal Kingdom. <laughs> Colour by number. So we go back to some of the Hatchet Hero books. So I've got this one. Colorage Mr. Airs, Star Wars, and this is Hatchet Heroes. You get your 100 designs out of here. You go to the back of the book, you get squiggles where I tested the page out. <laughs> so let's have a look if the sunlight's on. Yeah. Sorry if it's a little bit dark, guys. It's quite gloomy around here today, the weather is. So there's your finished images throughout the book. Uh, I think it's just different pictures throughout the Star Wars movies. You get pictures from, well, not the latest one, but from more recent ones to older ones with obviously Luke Skywalker down there. So you do get some cool images in these books. I like these. The hatchet here, I love these kind of books. Absolutely love them. So yeah. You do get more images there. So you do get a fair amount of images, to be honest, throughout these books. So as I said, if there's any books that you would like a more detailed flip through, please feel free. So the ones that I've coloured out of here are, I did this one of oh god shoot me now Darth Vader <laughs> I couldn't think who it was then I thought gosh you cannot forget who this is so yeah I can't remember when I did it though because I didn't date it and I did that one of Darth Maul and again I did not date it and I didn't do that one but I went to this one I can't remember the date that I did this but I know that I did it in memory of, what's her name? Oh, God, the one who praised Princess Leia. I can't remember her name now. It will come back to me, no doubt, the minute that I finish this video. But, yeah, um, I did this in memory of her when she passed away, just a couple of days after Christmas, actually. I think it... It was only a couple of years ago that she did. But I can't remember her name and I can't don't know why. So that is Star Wars Colorage Mr. Airs. And then we go back to the Vice Versa one. You remember the one that I showed you? Well, this is the second one, the Vice Versa Colorage Mysteries. And this is by Hashit Rizlazorus. And you have a hundred images. Oh, that looks interesting. That magic colour looks... Oh, I like that. I never noticed that before. I might have a look on um, Amazon France. So, yes. I never knew that you could really look on Amazon France before until I watched one of Nikki Niagara's videos today and she mentioned about it. So, I might have a look. So, yeah, they're just like kind of random images. I love them. I, I like that. That is nice. I'm not pregnant, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying I like the image. <laughs> oh, that's nice as well. That wedding one. Don't you just love weddings? Yeah. Funnily, though, I've only been to two weddings. Well, three, technically. One being my first marriage, yeah, which ended in divorce. We will not go into uh, I went to another wedding, I was a bridesmaid at my best friend's wedding and the third wedding I went to was my own <laughs> so my husband no so yeah you get your just random images throughout the book which are quite good, I like them so yeah, so let's have a look if I've coloured anything I know I've coloured some out of here yeah i know i did so i did this one and i did that on the 23rd of january 2018 i did this one and i remember i can't remember the date but i remember i colored this with faber castell picked pens i did that one and i did that on the 6th of the 1st 2018 
and I did that one and I can't remember when I did that or what I used <laughs> so there you go that is the second vice versa Clarage Mysteries book by Hashit Azores so the next one is oh you love a good Disney book this is actually this is not is it Disney? It's Disney Pixar, I think. This is Colorage Mysteries Pixar by Hatchet Heroes. And it just basically has all of the Disney Pixar characters in. Is it Disney Pixar? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Put it in the comments. Put me right, guys. Put me right. So, yeah, there's different pictures uh, from Toy Story. Toy Story of my son and my daughter's favourite uh, programmes at the minute. Sorry, guys, I'm not getting the complete images in here, am I? So, you go, cars. Um, some of them I've seen, some of them I haven't seen. I know she's from Toy Story. Is it? Sorry, guys, don't want to yawn. Is that, yeah, Toy Story 3, I think, with Darla and that one. Uh, you get some cool images out of here. I don't know if I've coloured that many in here, actually, if anything. I might not have coloured anything in this one yet. So there you go. And Ratatouille. Me and my friend love Ratatouille. <laughs> coloured anything out of it I thought I had but I haven't gosh I'm slacking I'm slacking here so we've got three more books in this um, in part four so I've showed you in a recent video I had a landscape one I think I showed you in a recent video animals colouring by numbers the anti-stress colouring book and this is by Camellia D. Montem Montmorelli, Mo okay, you get the gist. <laughs> you get the gist. At the back of the book, it shows you some of the finished images throughout the book. And I am ashamed to say I've not coloured a thing out of this one either. Oh well. So yeah, you do have quite a simple colour palette though for these kind of books and they're really really colourful so yeah I've not coloured in that one I think I got that one because I've got the other one and I just wanted to get the set it's four sets in dramas um oh gosh I'm terrible with names today at Lisa from Lisa's Colouring Corner four syndrome four sets in drama she'd call it so another one in the collection is Mickey Le Atlerus Colorage Mysteries. I'm totally buttering these names. So this is by Hashit Jennies. And at the bow, oh god, it's all Mickey Mouse characters, these. Absolutely love, 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 love. You get the gist there. I absolutely love these pictures and I love this book. And I really need to show it some love and attention. So that's the finished images. I'm not going to do a detailed flip through because we're up to 23 minutes now, so I'm nearly running out of time. But I've done that one. And I used Stedler and Stable on markers. And I did that on the 30th of March 2019. I did that one. And I did that on the 31st of March 2019. And I did this one. And I did it on the 16th of April 2019. And that is all that I've coloured from that at the minute. So the last book that I'm going to show you in this part four is this one. This is... Uh, Disney Lefers Colorage Mesteres. I said that I didn't say it right, but I said it better than I said the other ones. So there's your finished images at the back of these books. They're so cute. I absolutely love them. 
love 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 them i love these books if i could get every book by hatchet heroes i probably would but then i don't think my husband would be too impressed so yeah i did this one not sure what i used or what date i did it i did that one and again not sure about the date or what i used I did this one on the 30th of October 2018 and I did that one and again I'm unsure about the date or what I even used so that is a, what I've done for uh, that book so guys that is the end of part four of my colouring book collection I have a feeling we're going to have a couple more parts to it yet because <laughs> I've still got I've still got quite a few books to get through and oh, I bet you're going to ever regret joining this channel aren't you <laughs> no please stay so let's have a look how many books we've uh, done in this video so we've done one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we've gone through 16 books in this video. So guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, then feel free to press that subscribe button and also the notifications so you'll be notified of when i bring the next video out and if you can <laughs> it's all right. oh gosh i'm shaking you about it's because i'm trying to do stuff so yeah so how many books so 16 and i haven't written down part three in here i must have forgot that part four so yeah so yeah if you enjoy the video uh, feel free to give it a big thumbs up uh thank you everyone to joining me in this channel i am absolutely thrilled to have you here and i'm really really enjoying reading all your comments and you're just lovely all you guys are lovely yeah uh, i just want to say thank you to all the key workers out there at the minute for everything that you're doing for in this time of need so i'm gonna get going before i ramble on even more <laughs> so i'm gonna say goodbye for now guys and i'll see you again soon goodbye bye